Hey, hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about Grid. So this is a new API which is introduced from iOS 16 onward. Now if you see uh, this Grid, so basically it is used to create two dimensional layout by initializing a Grid with a collection of Grid row. Now you can imagine it's something similar to UI collection view that we used to have in UI kit where we can have rows and column both. Okay, now let's start just by seeing all the functions, all the methods that is available with the grid and how we can play around that. So let me just copy this grid view from here and just put it in my code. Now you can see that what I have done, I have taken a grid and then inside that grid, I have taken two grid row. Okay, so this is my row and then inside each row, this is my basically a column let's say that if i want to add one more text here i can add like one more text okay now if you see that in the first row i have four columns and in the second row i have two columns now if you see that the the positioning of this item always starting from by default from the uh, leading and that's the reason that you see that two space are empty here okay that's the one thing now if you see here further that we also have one more uh, method available which is called grid sale unsized access okay now what is this basically used for now let's say that if i want to put a divider in between both the row okay now if you see the moment you put the divider what happens that the divider you can see but you can see that there is a lot of spacing which comes between your element now this is not what you actually wanted right you just wanted to introduce a divider now why you see these extra spaces between this item so div divider is taking all the available space in the horizontal axis okay now as this divider is extending from this leading to this trailing area so what will happen that in response because finally each row will be expanding in the same uh, with with ratio so these are also expanding and that's the reason that you can see that there's, there's come lot many spaces here now how can we avoid it now to avoid this we have something which is called grid sale unsized access now if you read about it what it says that this asks grid layout not to offer the view extra size in the specified access now here you have to pass the axis that in which direction you don't need to provide you the extra size now, in this case you don't want the extra size for this divider in the horizontal axis so what we can do we can just say it dot grid unsized axis and what you have to pass you have to pass the axis as horizontal and see after this it sets back to the original spacing what it was there okay now let me take some more uh, complex examples that how we can use grid in more detail way okay so what i will do i'll just remove this divider and i have created a custom rectangle here so i'll just use this to create some boxes okay so this just need to pass a color let me pass a color as yellow so in my first grid row i'm creating three rectangle boxes okay let me just copy and paste it and this time I'll change the color to red and let's say that I want just two and I have one more and this time I just need one okay now it looks like I stapes something similar to that okay now what if that your requirement is that uh, this two red boxes should be at the end means this first space should be empty and this green rectangle should be also in the last that means the first two space should be empty okay now how can you achieve it so one simple mechanism you can think is that why can't i just use the same two more time so i'll get this green instead of this i can pass a clear color and it solves your issue right this can be one of your uh, solution but right now in this example what happens that this custom rectangle is just a view there's nothing inside it so even if i'm taking it it's not making that much difference 
just for this demo but in actual uh, scenario you might be taking some complex view okay so why i want to initiate or initialize a complex view just by showing a empty color clear color so this solves this problem but this is not the right approach okay and what we should do so what if if i just set the color to color dot clear okay so if you see my green boxes moved one uh, step on the right but it also introduced some extra spacing between the second grid and the third grid okay we'll talk about that later but let me just have one more clear color here now if you see this this green box actually moved to the right now the only problem that i have at this moment is how can i reduce how can i remove this extra spacing that i got now why this extra space spacing is coming this is coming because when you are giving this color dot clear again this grid row is trying to give this as much as width and height that is available now instead of this clear let me just put some other color let me just put red and now you can visualize actually why you are getting this extra space so what is happening basically the available space was from this much height so all this it is giving to that particular box because by default this don't have any default uh, height and width which i'm giving to this uh, custom rectangle that i'm fixing it 100 and 100 but this is taking all the available so that's the reason that when you set this color dot clear it is just going out of the bond okay so now what is our uh, solution should be that one solution can be that okay we are setting the color dot clear or let me just put it red only so that you can also visualize it but you set a frame to it so let's say that if i set a frame to height of 100 h e i okay now you can see that if i make it to clear this looks perfect okay but still it have uh, uh, this much spacing because i am not giving frame to this so let me give the frame here also and you now you can see that that, that uh, extra spacing is is sorry but what i've had tell you that there is more better way to solve this problem now now the problem in this solution is that every time when you use this uh, custom views you will have different height depending on what designs you are drawing like for this demo again it looks very easy when you are creating the demo but it gets complicated when you try to implement it in your real ui design so here all my views are having the same height and width so if i give it 100 there's no issue with that but if your views will have let's say the dynamic height or a variable height then every time you need to change this value okay now what is the best approach to solve this again to use the same thing what we just use and that is grid sale unsized axis so what i'm going to tell that okay let me just put it back both let me just take one i'll just copy and paste so what i'm going to tell it is it is extending in the case of vertical direction right so i can just use the same what i used unsized axis and i will say in the vertical direction that you, we don't have any extra spacing here but still you see that the space between these two and this uh, two are different okay so let me do one thing first let me uh, first say the some parameter for my this uh, grid so we have vertical spacing horizontal spacing alignment let me fix first alignment we'll give it to as uh, top leading and then we have uh, remove this content we have vertical spacing i'll give as 5 and we have uh, horizontal spacing and this also i'll give it 5 is error so i have misplaced the order so let me just set it back okay so now i have set the spacing as 5 and 5 but still if you see that the space between the first and second is more and this is if i say that this is actually happening due to this now how if you just again set it back to red color you can see that this box is actually taking more space because we have 
told the compiler that you fix the sizing on the vertical direction but in the horizontal direction it is again taking as much space that is available to it okay so now we have the option to pass multiple access so what i can do i can just pass it like this so dot vertical and dot horizontal now if you see it will take exactly the same space as of other views inside that grid now i'll just change it back to the clear color so that we have a box and now you can just copy and paste it two times and you can see that i get my green boxes in the last and in this case i can just put it one time and here i have some spacing now can we further improve this code like i'm just writing the same set of code two times now what if again i tell you that there is a better way that we can further improve it so if i go back to this apis again we have something called grid cell columns now what it tells basically that tells a view that acts as a cell in a grid to spend the specified number of columns so let's say for example if you want one particular item to have a width of two columns right in that case you can use this grid cell column so what i'm going to do that uh, i'm going to delete this okay and uh, on this let's use that property so i'll state this to as 2 so i want this to take the space available for two columns and now you can see that i achieved the same thing in much easier way so that's how you can use this grid sale and size access grid cell columns to place your view in desired position as per your ui requirement now to this what i'm going to do i'm again going to take one more grid row here okay now this time instead of taking the the regular boxes let's take some smaller boxes so i'll just delete this and let me take a rectangle and give me some frame to it so the width as let's say 20 and height also as 20 okay so uh, we have this coming here and let me take one more so that it looks little better that we have one row here okay now let's say that your requirement is to place uh, this particular object at vertically center or horizontally center or to the right of it or to bottom of it based on your design now if you see here we are going to use this grid cell anchor now what it tells it specifies a custom alignment anchor for a view that acts as a grid cell so what i'm going to do is use this grid cell anchor here and if you see what options you get you let's say that if I use it uh, right now it is in top reading so I use top reading you will see no effect in the UI okay now let me just try playing with it so, so it will come bottom and then leading and then again you have bottom trailing so it will come bottom but on the right hand side and then you have again top leading and top trailing so this way how you can use this grid cell anchor to move your or to position your view or my uh, intention was to put it exactly in the center so what i'm going to use is dot center so once you do this dot center it comes in the center right let's see the another anchor which is uh, grid column alignment so what it does it overrides the default horizontal al alignment of the grid column that the view appears in so we can use this grid column this is i can say that grid column have lesser power in terms of movement of the object compared to the grid cell anchor now let me just comment it out and by default it will again reach here on the top left position now if i use this grid uh, 
column alignment now here if you see you have lists uh, options like you have leading center list row separator leading trailing and then list row separator trailing now if i move it in center this time it will not move it exactly in the center it will move in the center but if you see it is this is not uh, both vertically in or horizontal center it is just horizontal center okay now if i give it leading it will go the default leading position and then you have again trailing it will move right so that's all about grid so hope you have enjoyed this video uh, i have mostly covered all the apis that is basically available with this uh, grid if you have really enjoyed watching this video then please do like comment share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you